Welcome back to the Madhouse Asylum server. I am the Colonel. Thank you for joining me today. I hate villagers, but we need them. So uh, let me get geared up here, and we'll get back to work and try and get some more villagers for our farm. Oh, my God. Come get me, baby. Dude. Thank you. Oh, crap. Where's my ladder? Crap. <laughs> um. Dang it. Don't make me kill you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, so, uh, now we gotta get the other guy in here. Okay, there is a ladder. Whoa! Fuck her off, dude! Come get me, bro! Oh! Get out. You're not welcome. Okay. Guten. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, so let's get our... Oh, we already have one on us. Perfect. Splash potion. <laughs> Got myself again. Oh my lord. There we go. Okay, so now we need to get some more of this stuff brewed up, and uh, to do that, I guess I'll have to go have to go back and get some glass. Oh, you're gonna despawn, aren't you? Um, will you despawn if you have something in your hand? That's the question. Pick it up, dude. Oh man. Gotta be kidding me. Come well, on, pick it up, dude. You pick up everything else. Well, our zombie villager buddy, he kinda died. <laughs> I went back to the to the base to, to get some material to do some more potions and he decided that uh, he was going to despawn so uh, dumb luck for myself however I was able to get some more splash potions and I've uh, been doing a lot of work over here and I think I have enough for one more round of splash potions so we're going to make some of those and we only have one more golden apple I can make a bunch more, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to start... I've got enough... Well, I've got enough to last me for a while. Uh, I just I don't want to waste all of my gold on this, but uh, I guess it's a worthy cause. Um, but as I say, I have been working on this. Let me get rid of this little dude first. Because he's going to be a nuisance. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we've been busy at work. In fact, at one point I did have a farmer villager got him in here and uh, I hate villagers. What can I say? They're stupid. They're freaking stupid. Got him in here, broke the cart right here, and then uh, he decided to start running this way and kept running this way, kept running this way and or, what did he do? I think I had this block open and he ran downstairs and became a freaking nightmare. Um, I'll show you what I've been working on down here. Uh, so he, I finally got him in another cart on the second level down here. Got him up here. And what did the Goomba do? He decided to get himself stuck behind one of these stairs. And then he suffocated. <laughs> that was a waste of like 15 minutes of my life. So uh, I've been working on down here. 
and uh, got this whole place lined up. Got all the, actually, no, next level down. Got all the doors in. So we are good to go as, as soon as we get enough villagers. Uh, so we've got four villagers in this cell. And we've got two of them, I think, in this cell. Maybe three? Three. We've got three in this cell. So we need to get at least, um, you know, nine more. Uh, to fill up so that we at least start spawning zombies. <sighs> zombies. Iron golems. And then uh, I need to... I need to get some farmer villagers. So hopefully the ones that we are able to save up here, uh, we can kind of scooch out and get them into the farm without them escaping. Um, We'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> I need at least two of them so that we can at least start breeding. Um, which kind of leads me to think, you know, once they do start breeding, how are we going to deal with that? Uh, the farm design that I'm using from our Sirius, it, it kind of, the, the catch mechanism down here that also, that also kills the iron golems, it, I think I'm going to have to do some customization, I think, for that. Uh, over here is the wall that leads out into um, the big open area over here. And I need to... I'd like to kind of get things to go over that way, but I think the positioning and where we're at... We're at level 61 here, and I think that's at level 64 or 65... So I'm not sure how we're going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is have this dug out a little bit and have the kill mechanism uh, for the the iron golems like right here with a lava blade or something. Um, the, maybe four more blocks down. And then push everything this way. And somehow... I need to get some ladders... But somehow, um, so all the drops would funnel this way, and all of the villagers that we breed up here, they would flow this way too. And kind of funnel them down into like a one, a two by one, and have a, a water stream kind of pass over a hopper so that at least the drops from everything kind of get sent into a you know an inventory system of some sort and then um and then the villagers would kind of get pushed into i don't know either a minecart system so that they get pushed into a minecart they get picked up and then automatically as soon as there's something in them um get sent off you know, upstairs to the holding area so that we can look at them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that. Uh, basically, I want to have them so that I can look at them and say, okay, yeah, you look okay. You don't, so we'll get rid of you. Um, and then the ones that are, are okay, we can figure out how to route them. So I don't know. Um, that, I think, is going to take a lot more planning. But in the meantime, um, I think we can work on at least the kill mechanism. Because the first thing that we're going to have available to us is iron. Because uh, we're, we need to stock this area up here with the farmers. And we don't have any yet. And I think we're going to get more normal villagers before we get the, the farmer guys. So... Um, I think I'm going to start working on that, and in the meantime, it's night time, so let's check and see if we've got any zombie villagers. Sounds like we've got some villagers. Show your face. <laughs> God, that sounds so bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm profiling. <laughs> oh... So, we need some more villagers. I guess I'll continue our search and continue working on down below. 
um, at least we'll be able to get an inventory system in anyway. So let me work on that and be back in a minute. All right, so we're down here and I need to put in the kill mechanism here or at least, you know, rough it out. <clears throat> so we want them to go this way and we need to have uh, basically a one high gap. So we're going to have to fudge it a little bit because obviously we're not one high. But uh, essentially what I think is going to happen is we're going to have... You know what? Let me... There. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's our one high. And what we're going to have is the lava blade kind of sitting right here. So we, stupid thing. Okay, so the lava blade's gonna sit right here. So we're gonna put this framing in so that we can sit the lava uh, above it. So it'll go right across. Oh, you know what, is that too high? That might be too high. Hmm. I have to go check on the height of the zombies. Or the the zombies. The iron golems. Um, so I'm going to check on that. But basically the, the little guys, the, the, the villagers that are bred, are going to be one high. They're going to kind of scooch under here. We're going to have a lot of uh, water push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. So they're going to push down here. And then... That is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then we're going to have this dug out. <clears throat> and we're going to start water again down here. And uh, basically funnel them. So, oh crap. Well, <laughs> I guess I have to fill this stuff in. Nuts. Um, but basically, the idea is kind of do something like this. And just kind of gradually funnel everything in. Oh, that was dumb. Have I been down here? Yeah, it looks like it. Not very well lit, though. Um, so let me get back up here uh, and just kind of fill this in, and then we'll show you what we've got. All right, so we are down here trying to f get our item system in place, and uh, I'll be, we're going to be short some material, but basically um, the items are just going to flow over this so that the water... I've already tested out the water if you put them in the corners here will basically direct everything down this road here and so we're gonna have a uh, some sort of villager collection system here not sure what it's gonna look like but the items are gonna flow over this hopper and the hopper is just gonna suck them up so they're gonna send them over this way and the only one that we really care about is the iron so that's the one that we're gonna put here um, so we've this you know, you've seen this a bunch of times. Uh, so this is the comparator. And it's going to basically go down here. And this is going to be our sort system right here. And I'm going to have to be careful. We're not doing anything too strange it's gonna screw up our everything else over here so uh, we need to put some solid blocks here and we need a repeater Boink. and we need one of these guys we need some light <laughs> And a couple of redstone, and that should be it. Everything else is just going to flow through. So this is going to power that, power that, 
and we're good to go. So we'll have a... Uh, did I do that right? I totally did not do that right. There we go. That's more like it. There. That's better. Much better. Okay. Um, so our hopper filter it's going to go right there and he's going to have iron in it so as long as we have uh, iron that's ready to go in here uh, we need to make a few more hoppers so this is going to continue down the line here and then go into a dropper which is basically going to drop everything else which includes bread and wheat seeds, um, and even the poppies, which we don't care about because we've got our own rose bush, uh, so we can make as much red dye as we want. Um, so basically everything's just going to filter down into here. So all of the items that get filtered down into the iron, uh, we're going to basically run all the way up and stick into uh, some overflow chests and stuff so that we have them and then we'll also have obviously an overflow mechanism in case everything backs up and we can discard the extra but uh, all of that's going to go into kind of a dispense not a dispenser but a, an iron chest up on the main level <laughs> it's hard to show you from here uh, but there'll be a way to, to get the to the iron relatively easy without having to come all the way down here but for the meantime we'll probably have the iron sticking into a chest down here until we can get all the material that we need to uh, to move it up. So let me continue with this build. Uh, we still haven't got any new villagers, so I think that's going to be the the big part. Uh, so not sure how long that's going to take, uh, but at least I can get the infrastructure for the the farm in place. Um, I didn't want to, you know the. The Iron Golem farm is kind of a secondary thing. Uh, the The main reason that I started this project was because I wanted villagers and I wanted a breeding system. And um, I thought I was looking for a design for it, and I found this one. So I thought, well, let's combine the two. You know, let's get some iron out of it because we can always use iron. So. Uh, that is what we're working on now, and uh, so let me continue doing this and. We'll uh, we'll check back with you once we've got some more done. All right, gonna take a little bit of a break here. Uh, Tripper asked us to come over. He has said he had something for us, and I believe he was also looking for some splash potions of weakness. And uh, I had actually used up all of the ones that I had, so we are. I made some more, so we can give him one. <clears throat> Let's see. Anything new? I think there's something new over here. What are these? It's kind of neat. What do you call those? Toolbox kind of thing? Oh, this is cool. What's happening? <laughs> Cool. Thank you. So he uh, had asked if he could use some of our... Oh, I got a sneeze coming on. One sec. <laughs> well, I'll have to edit that out. <laughs> I missed my pause button. Oh, man. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I... Uh... Tripper needed some uh, leather, so we let him borrow some of our leather, and he gave us a couple of stacks of slime balls, which is awesome. <clears throat> let's let's check out what he's got going on. I wonder if he's. Oh yeah, some changes. Let's 
still working on his storage room, I guess. Oh, yeah. Holy signage. That's why my frames were dropping. <laughs> cool. It's very nice. Hope you can keep it organized. Because I can't keep mine organized. Looking good. Alright, let's get back to work. Alrighty, so we've got all of our hoppers in place. I went mining and... Tripper uh, gave us a stack of iron, which was uh, very nice. So we were able to make all of the hoppers that we need, and we still have 17 left. Uh, so these are all droppers going all the way up to the top. Uh, we've got our little clock here that gets everything up to the top. We have to still find some lava so that we can put in here, but I still want to do some testing with that. Uh, so right now... Uh, everything is set, so we're only going to keep the iron and close this off once we start spawning um, spawning these guys. We need to put <clears throat> excuse me, we need to put the lava in here. But uh, so we're almost all set. Uh, we need to put some signs in here for the water, and then uh, we're pretty much done. Uh, let me show you. So we've got this pen filled now. So we've got four guys in here. Um, and then, so all of the, the iron gets sent up into this chest. Flows down into this one. Flows down into this one. And then we have another chest on the outside here that we can access. Uh, so that is very good. <clears throat> so hopefully that should take care of our iron uh once we start getting iron golems spawning uh we're n i don't think this is going to be like a hugely you know productive farm but uh we will build some sort of overflow system over here um just to make sure that if this chest is full uh then we'll, we'll deal with it somehow <laughs> i don't know how uh, we need to get rid of these things, though, in order to do that, I think. Um, could get a little dicey. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Uh, so, in the meantime, I think I'm going to try and get some more villagers bread, but I, I think we're actually coming close to the end of the episode. So, I think that is all we're going to do uh, now that I think of it. So, it's turn of day. There wasn't any villagers up there, so... Not going to worry about those. We do have 10 more golden apples, and um, we've got some more potions brewed, so we should be able to convert a few more villagers, hopefully. And uh, I guess that's about it. So we're just going to continue trying to find some more villagers. We'll tidy this up, put some signs in here, get ready uh, for everything to be hunky-dory. Um, and just wait it out. So hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care. Oh, yeah.